we return, let me finish with what many people believe are the three scariest words in the English language. President Sarah Palin. You're watching Hardball, only on MSNBC. Let me finish tonight with the fact that for tens of millions of Americans, and not just Democrats, the scariest three words in the English language are President Sarah Palin. Those words could, if events go a certain way, get a hell of a lot scarier. I've noticed how Palin has been positioning herself as the Christian woman in national Republican politics. This gives her an incredible leg up in the first in the country Iowa Republican caucuses where the Reverend Pat Robertson once triumphed. The shape of the 2012 Republican president presidential field in the Iowa caucuses would be Sarah Palin against a field of Republican men. And with the possible exception of Mike Huckabee, all more secular than she is. The results? The Christian woman beats out the four or five men running somewhere to her left. No one gets to her right. And as long as nobody does, this lone woman in the Republican field, the one openly running as a religious fundamentalist, beats the competition hands down. Get this number into your head. Sarah Palin's latest Gallup poll favorable rating among Republicans Republican voters nationwide is 76 percent, by far the highest of any contender. So she wins Iowa. Next, New Hampshire. Even if Mitt Romney outpulls Palin in the Granite State, it will be a fact dismissed by the national political press. Why? Because New Hampshire is the Boston media market. It's right in it, and therefore it's seen as home base for the former Massachusetts governor. Next, Palin trucks down to South Carolina, where she made Nikki Haley governor and wins among fellow religious fundamentalists. Another victory in Palin country, an increasingly wide expanse in Republican politics. Now for the knockout. Palin has said that Michigan Michigan, where Romney's father was governor, was overlooked by Republicans last time. She started her book tour there. Republican women who lined up to buy Going Rogue are her first round of investors. With two or three men besides Romney still appearing on the ballot, she pulls it out in Michigan. Now, anything's possible at this point. Nominated in Tampa, Florida, in the Republican National Convention, in an economy that might still be shaky, the political situation in this country becomes frighteningly dicey. All I can say is that I remember how liberals thought Ronald Reagan could never do it. As we learned in 1980, tough times yield surprising, yes, scary election prospects.